They told me, boys, don't cry or play with Barbies. So my whole life I've tried my hardest to be the man that they wanted me to be. Wingless. The bad end meets the good end arc. The world is too loved. Kei landed with Yamaguchi holding one hand and Kageyama on the other. Moon and Shoyo were cuddling on the beanbag with Shoyo burying his head on Moon's hair. Yamaguchi looked around and immediately spotted the linked hands of Tsukishima and Kageyama from the other world. It seems Tobio did too because his grip on Yamaguchi's hand tightened. They're here, and the world so we can go. No. Moon. Sakishima K. Saying that in Troya's voice and body is foul play. <laughs> Shut up, King. Can it, Beanpole? Toby, Suki. Shut up? Moon, Tobio, and K looked at Yamaguchi, whose gaze never left the parallel Sakishimas. He let out a chuckle and faced the three his eyes painting the pain he would never tell them. You were so caught up with everything else that you muted them. I did? Yeah, Moon, you did. Yeah, Chen doesn't cry silently. Oh. Moon closed his eyes, then suddenly, the sobs of Yachi was heard throughout the room. Yeah, Chen is still our crybaby. My crybaby. Hi, hi. Yamaguchi pulled Kageyama in and hugged him, tucking his head into his shoulder. Now, Suki, please don't release your anger on Toby before knowing, okay? Moon was still in Shoya's arms who was still, frozen by the appearances of his best friends. Moon whispered reassurances to Shoya that never went through. K materialized two other beanbags for him and the other two. They quickly settled in. K folding his wings and stretching out his legs while Tadashi and Tobio curled up each other. H hey, Shoyo said there was a quick fix. The world shouldn't end like this, right? It shouldn't end. Of course it shouldn't. But like Moon said in the journal, the world was for Sakishima and Hinata. The world should have ended when you two... Suki and Toby bonded. How did the world continue? Last time Shoyu didn't at least get a kiss from Suki. The world was quaking up. Is that so? Just went into Sukishima's room, stole a peck, and ran. Annoying if you don't have wings. Pathetic, simply put. Can we assign names? We have four Sukishimas in the room. Yeah, I guess. So, Sukishima here is Sun, since Shuyu here is Moon. Your Sukishima is K, and your Shoyo? Is that how you say it? Is Shoyo. Our Tobio can be a. Kageyama. Toby. It's fine, K. So, our Tobio is Kageyama, while yours is Tobio. Yeah, that's fine. Tobio met Shoyo's eyes and both of them averted right away. Kei, who saw the exchange, coiled into a ball, covered himself with his wings and cradled his head, hoping to push away thoughts that shouldn't be there. So the quick fix, right? Let Hinata and Tsukishima sleep with each other. Shoyo had finished his frozen episode and had composed himself. Which I don't want to because I top. Your body is me to bottom. And my soul was made to top. See why we didn't suggest it? So that's it. We all die here. Not knowing what would happen for the rest of our lives? You'll live a happy life and happy end. I did say so, right? The spell that induces sleep and makes them live through their whole life? Yes. Shoyo, I don't know why, but something happened to you and Kei that's bothering you both. Shoyo inhaled a long breath and faced the clock. Although he had put on muscle and looked healthy, his eyes stated he was far from happy. Okay, let's talk. 
Tobio's head shot up from Yamaguchi's shoulder, and he looked at Shoyo in a panic. Sho, no, Toby. Let Shoyo tell us what you wouldn't tell me. Tobio looked at Yamaguchi, and tears that shouldn't be there started to fall. He buried his head in Yamaguchi's chest and infinitely repeated, I'm sorry. That goes without saying. They cheated on us with each other last week. Ironic how Sun ended up with Kagiyama. It was an accident. Kei's feathers uncurled themselves and the whole room was still while Shoyo flinched. Kei never showed his crying face to the public. Only a handful could see them. An accident that should have been prevented, no? After all, how is sex an accident? Did you seduce your best friend? Yeah, that's so like you. And last month you were jumping around asking Tadashi who tops. Were you happy to know they switched? Were you, Shoyo? Shoyo. Kei never called him Shoyo anymore. It was always sunshine. Never Shoyo. Kei, let them explain. Yeah, because there's something to explain about them being in bed naked and Shoyo limping for the whole day after. Tadashi, they cheated. The only reason I didn't cut Tobio's string was not because I forgave him. It was because I'd be losing my best friend too if I did. I'd be losing you. Do me a favor and don't defend him. Don't defend the fact that Tobio nearly ended the world by touching what is mine. Suki, I'm not defending Tobio and I'm not defending Shoyo. I just need to know how they ended up in that situation. And I know I can't not forgive Toby. Sometimes, Tadashi, you're dumb. Sometimes, Kei, we need to accept and move on. Tadashi, Tobio nearly ended the world. I nearly cut all the strings in my sleep because my insides were being torn apart. Suki, please, I know. I felt it, but I didn't think it was Shaw. I just know of this, Toby and Shaw. Today, please give me time to accept it, okay? Shohyu and Toby have been with each other through thick and thin. Heck, they train together daily while we work our asses off in your office. Tadashi's grip around Toby Titan and he buried his nose into his crying mate's hair. Can't you give me time? Because yeah, my soulmate, the one for me, warming the bed of the fatigues. Quite the surprise, right? So can you- Tadashi's voice broke. Tobio was still repeating I'm sorry like it was a chant in his arms. If only forgiving and forgetting was as easy as saying I'm sorry. Please, Kay, shut up for a bit. Kay stared at his best friend. His stare was admiring. He always did admire Tadashi for his unrelenting heart, even when he was near broken. But Kay didn't have that heart. So he curled himself into the beanbag and covered his whole body in feathers. Broken sniffles, sobs, I'm sorry's were heard in the room. You know, you guys were supposed to come here to fix my world by ending it. I didn't invite you guys to end your world too. Moon, I'm sorry. Moon looked up to show you who was holding back his tears and sobs. I'm all ears, sunshine. His hand slowly reached up and wiped away the tears. All ears. You can call me Moony if you want to. To be continued.